Hi, in light of this course being um, about informatics and technology, um, I thought I would do my portfolio page in a video conference or um, recorded video format. Uh, competencies of the course are basically from the course objectives. Uh, they're to demonstrate a knowledge of the basic concepts of the development scope and application of nursing informatics. Describe and discuss legal, ethical, regulatory, and economic issues surrounding the management of clinical information, um, mostly I'd say associated with HIPAA. Um, also to demonstrate use of selected information technology and terminology related to nursing informatics, uh, to apply informatics competencies needed for nurses practicing in the current healthcare environment, and to discuss informatics applications for quality care and patient safety. Um, for our patient teaching, uh, I also did another video uh, that was on mostly the prevention of Lyme disease. Um, I really thought that uh, preventing Lyme disease, I, I still do think that preventing Lyme disease is much more important than trying to cure it after you already have it. Uh, and awareness, of course, is key to prevention of anything. I think I may have mentioned that uh, uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and that really speaks volumes uh, with Lyme disease. Uh, so that was my uh, patient teaching um, brochure. Well, it was a video as well, and I'll be attaching that video to the portfolio page as well. Uh, for our evidence-based practice portion, uh, we had to create a care map uh, based on current guidelines. Uh, we had to identify two nursing diagnoses for our patient. Uh, we also had to assign two uh, NIC and NOC criteria. And we also had to discuss what other medical or nursing interventions would be appropriate for the patient, knowing the current evidence-based practice guidelines. Uh, and after reviewing some of the other students' um, papers or uh, concept maps on the discussion board, I recognize why mine got dinged for uh, a few points there. Uh, there were a couple of students that really did um, really good quality, uh, lots of color um, and lots of cool links and stuff like that. Um, I provided a video on there uh, to the um, Chris Spielman's wife, Stephanie Spielman Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, she uh, had breast cancer, which was treated, uh, but she eventually died of brain cancer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, large ties, big Ohio State fans. I uh, went to school at Ohio State for my pharmacy degree, and, um, you know, there's a lot of research going on up there at the James Cancer Center, and uh, the Spielman Foundation donates a lot of money toward research, so that's why I wanted to put that link in there. But anyways, I'd like to say good job to any of the classmates that view this, um, that posted their uh, care maps to the discussion board. Uh, I thought they were really well well done, um, very professional looking, um, a lot better than mine. But, and uh, anyways, just as a personal reflection, I would say the take home message of this course really is to stay current. Um, you know, uh, as nurses, we need to be up on, you know, not only the latest guidelines with, you know, the evidence-based practice stuff and to be able to justify the things that we're doing, um, but also we need to be able to use the technology that's available to us to best help our patients. You know, there's a lot of things built into these technological systems, um, you know, the, the ergonomic design and the user interfaces that are real quality to, um, you know, save money and or make money, um, make sure that staffing is appropriate to the acuity level of the patients and all of that stuff. But, but really, um, you know, I, I think that the most important thing is, you know, focus on, on getting the patient taken care of. You know, it's like whenever your teachers ask you, well, what do you do next? And it's like assess the patient, you know. Um, and, and I think that's true with, with the, um, information technology and informatics as well. You know, this is all here to have better health outcomes for our patients. And that's what's really important. You know, uh, 30 or 40 years ago, uh, nurses may have thought it was crazy to have a machine uh, infuse an IV, you know, when, you know, well, how is it going to calculate the drip rate? You know, and now we're all saying, well, thank God that we can use a computer. We don't, we don't have to figure out this math to calculate the drip rate. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. I, I think if we don't stay current and we don't keep up on the technologies that are available to us, 
you know, uh, we're all going to be doing a long division in our head to calculate drip rates when we can just um, put it through a machine that's been tried and true and tr uh, tr trusted. Uh, and that's not to say that, you know, we're all going to be using robots in the future to take care of our patients, but, you know, I, I would like to have all of us just keep an open mind about the technologies that are available. You know, even if you look at uh, an iPad, for example, you know, maybe even just a decade ago, something like that really wouldn't have been uh, thought of, or me making a video on my iPhone here. So, anyways, in closing, I thought the class was pretty good. Um, I, I don't know if, if, if we're supposed to critique the class on improvements or, or negatives, so I, I'm not going to do that. I don't think this is the appropriate time or place for that. But anyways, um, I would recommend the class uh, to uh, even students who are outside of nursing. I, I think that this is a great field. You know, uh, as a pharmacist, you know, we use informatics uh, all of the time. I mean, you know, with the electronic health records, you know, we use robotics and different things. I think that just uh, the knowledge of, of where this field is and where it's going is very important, um, not only for nurses, but... Uh, for healthcare professionals and other professions in general. So the class was great. Um, I'm sure that I'll see uh, some of the students uh, on campus uh, at Stark. And um, I'm sure I will see uh, you, Professor Ferranto, sometime as well. Thank you very much, and see you around.